Hello there YouTubers, Traz here. Uh, this is basically a, a small channel update and uh, sort of an apology for not having a real video this week. I uh, had some problems last week and then uh, over the weekend I discovered my computer had basically uh, one of the hard drives stopped failing, uh, stopped responding. Uh, so I'm my computer is kind of old. I did replace the video card uh, back in January this year, but the rest of the computer is like about five years old, and it's kind of time for a new one. So I've ordered parts. Uh, they should be coming in in the next few days, and over the weekend, hopefully, I'll have built a new computer and got back to recording video. Uh, but with the state my computer is in, uh, I can't really record too good of a video uh, because while I'm not using that hard drive, it's still installed and causes like the OS to hitch a bit, I guess, when it tries to access it. It, it, it still can read, but certain files take longer, or take a few tries, and that just causes the operating system to hitch and like programs to stop responding for a few seconds every so often. And yeah, that wouldn't be fun to watch as a video. So I'm not going to have a video this week, but hopefully I'll have videos again next week. Uh, which brings me to kind of the second point I have, uh, which is the end of this month I'm going on a business trip, uh, so I may have a uh, irregular schedule uh, the last week of August. Uh, not that I really have a regular schedule, but I've been trying to get out uh, videos every four or five days. I, I try to... <laughs> I was for a while trying to do two a week. Uh, at least now with Satisfactory, which is the main content I'm doing, uh, it's, I'm getting near the end of the content and it's taking a lot more work to get stuff done in the game. Uh, so I'm, what haven't been getting it out as often as I, as I would like. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, like I said, uh, next week I'll have a video and then, uh, the week after that, <laughs> at least one or two, uh, but then the, like the last week of August, uh, I may may not have a video or may have like one on the weekend before that last week and uh, try to get one out the next weekend. We'll see. Um, other things on uh, my channel. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for a while, uh, you may know that uh, for quite a while I've been doing uh, not really Minecraft mods, but I've written... a uh, plugin for Minecraft, well not, it's not even a plugin for Minecraft, it's a separate utility in Minecraft that helps you uh, move parts of your world around to another world uh, using command blocks. It basically gives you a bunch of commands to put in command blocks that will recreate a schematic, at least when schematics were a thing, uh, MC Edit and I think World Edit could export parts of worlds as a schematic, uh, but the schematic format has basically been dropped from support by those utilities. Well, one, MC Edit has been updated in quite a while. I don't use World Edit, so I'm not sure its state. Uh, but basically, though the schematic format was based on the older level format, and that changed in 113. And I don't, I know MC Edit doesn't work past 112. I have no idea about World Edit. Uh, but Minecraft had added its own save format. Uh, it's not a schematic, it's a structure, <laughs> structure blocks that they added that can export, but they have a limited export area. I do support them now, um, but yeah, well, 114 has come out, and well, <laughs> structure blocks are still limited in area to 32 by 32 by 32 blocks. And, as I said, yeah, it's hard to get schematics uh, for current worlds. Additionally, uh, the way I was recreating the worlds, I would spawn in a falling sand block and attach to, or writing that as if it was a boat or something, would be a whole bunch of command block minecarts. They would land on a rail, and each one would then run a command, and that was kind of a way to get uh, one command that actually ran several hundred uh, in my testing you could get uh, you know 400 commands inside one command block that way normally one command block only can run one command uh, the problem is because of the changes in 114 
that broke. Uh, there's actually a bug on the forums of uh, mine, well, the bug tracker for Minecraft. And uh, I actually, not that you would care about it, let me pull open the. It is MC1451.13 is the bug. I have voted up. Basically, uh, whenever falling blocks had passengers. Uh, when the falling block landed, the passengers would no longer land on top of the, that falling block. They would land inside it. And uh, this basically completely broke the way I was running multiple commands. Um, there's a partial workaround, uh, which is have the falling block, then have a, have a armor stand with no health riding that falling block, and, because the, and then have the, the blocks you want to be on the falling block to actually be riding the armor stand. Because the armor stand is two blocks high, uh, when the falling block lands, the armor stand lands inside of it and then immediately dies, and then the things that were riding the armor stand basically appear where the head of the armor stand which would be, which is above the block, the falling block that you originally had, and then that would cause them to land correctly. Uh, the problem is I do have a patch that uses this uh, but like when I ha I have a method that will run one command after another after another well it's not one after the other there's basically a flying machine that activates the command blocks about three quarters of a second apart uh, but when using all the armor stands it, it just things take a lot longer now to process and uh, it would basically lag the game out uh, once you hit like 20 or 30 commands, like the first command, the blocks spawned in by the first command would not have completely landed or processed yet, and yet the flying machine is now down to block 30, and yeah, eventually it would take more time to process, a lot more time. Previously, you know, in 1.13, it would process, finish processing all the commands spawned by the first command block before the flying machine flew onto the second command block. Now with the armor stands, that doesn't happen. Uh, so you keep spawning these falling command block minecarts faster than the game could process them. The game eventually lags out. It you know it starts taking a second a frame or two seconds a frame, um, and eventually, the, you know, it, I only was testing in single player, and the single player couldn't keep up. It would eventually crash. Uh, it would probably do much much worse on servers. So while I have updated that utility, I haven't released it because it's not in a state that's really usable. Um, I probably will put the code up on, I have a GitHub of the code. I'll put it in another branch if anyone wants to play with it, but I wouldn't recommend using it. Uh, I did make some fixes. There were a lot of changes in 1.14. Uh, the way, uh, I mean, there's I have the support for the new blocks. Uh, I actually made a few fixes uh, with older blocks. Um, they actually changed uh, some things. Like, you used to be able to, uh, like, uh, stair blocks would default facing north. So um, my code, if it saw, oh, it's north, it wouldn't specify a direction. Uh, but apparently in 114, you can't do that anymore. You always have to specify the direction. So I've made fixes for that as well. Um, Anyway, if you're interested in that, yeah, uh, I'll have the GitHub link in the description. Hopefully, I'll have it updated with the new code uh, before this video goes live. Uh, but yeah, I guess I've been rambling on quite long enough. Um, so I'll wrap this up here. Uh, if everything goes right, this should be all over some Automa Chef uh, video. Uh, I've played a bit further than my quick look. I, I'm enjoying the game. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that's just uh, the update for this week. Hopefully I'll be back uh, to a semi-regular schedule soon. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.